Come on, productions here. And he also had the most picks. And Tredavious White, right? Yeah. All right. I'm never going to forget the fact that Jameis Winston led the 2019 season in passing yards. You know what? I'm going to do this. Snapping quarterbacks for lunch. It's the snappers. Stephen A. Smith said... Oh. Dude, this bot just commented to me and told me happy ballpoint pen day. What? I want to check this out after. I like that. I wish this was longer. Oh, and happy ballpoint pen day. Um, is, guess I just do personal preference. Raiders. That's the only reason I picked Khalil Mack is because he played for the Raiders. I would go Gilmore here. Only because we already have Mack. But it's your choice, so. Oh, yeah. Do this. I'll tell you how I got Mahomes in my Packers franchise after I stop recording this. So I have two PS4 controllers and both of them were dented because of that uh, one franchise league that we're in. But like, he had an old one before. And um, that's why. And, and those ones I got beat like 63-0. So I dented the controller really. Oh no, it was, to, it was to users. It was not to the CPU. Larry Fitzgerald is wide open. Ah! Oh, Jared Goff is actually bad. He is way too slow. <laughs> he was like 83 speed in this game, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he got a ring in that one franchise that we're in. Whatever that's worth. He got his, he has a championship in that franchise. The Cardinals won the first season Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. The Ravens, dude. Who's not been online? The Ravens, dude? Hunter? That's a pickup of six on that last play. He's not been on my. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he hasn't even spoken into the league since he joined. Dude, this camera angle, it's so zoomed in on mine. Um, I guess you can go with whatever. Alright. Snapping up quarterbacks for lunch. It's Moose the hands. snapper. I'll be running as a playbook in uh, our franchise. That's true. It comes down to personal preference. <laughs> Coming in hot from that linebacker yes. spot. It's he Taylor Jones. He had a brother who was a D tackle and won a Super Bowl. And then he yeah. also, uh, he also freaking. Hey, y'all. He came a Jumbo long Jones way for this. So put older your hands together yeah, I know. for offset. Uh, I think older. That's a crazy man. Okay, I guess I can just pick whoever. Oh. It's Patrick Mahomes. I mean, Mahomes, if Mahomes is there, I can't pass up, you know? Oh, yeah. But if he's coming, I don't know if he has all the superstar abilities. One drive from the 25. Tug of war to break time. And no kicking. I play the Chiefs dude in week 17 and the Browns dude in week 10. But the Chiefs dude's never online and the Browns dude plays nine times a game. So I think I'm confident. At least I should be. To make right, now, this is your first play. Seahawks. 75 yards to the line. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, I just realized I'm, I'm not, Sanu is a lot slower than I thought he was, actually. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you spend money on Mutt? I got this game on Black Friday. Yeah. So I was really only posting 2K19 content on my channel at that time. 2K18 on the three, Xbox 360 is better than 2K20 on the PS4. Yeah, I actually have, I have the disc right here, 2K, I'm showing my camera, 2K18 disc. I also have Madden 17 on the Xbox 360 for no reason. I have Madden 08. Really? Oh. <laughs> I heard of the ESPN 2K5, I think it was, with the Eagles player on the cover. I forgot which Eagles player it was, though. Oh, yeah. It was either him or Brian Dawkins who I was thinking of. <clears throat> or... I remember that. I'll just connect it to a PC and get it Elgato or something. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know how these YouTubers are be able to record their Xbox 360. That's why when I started my channel, it was just Madden Mobile and Paper.io. And Mutthead.com. I hate it now because it doesn't let me do the team builder stuff anymore. Because I had like, my first video I think, one of my first videos was a Panthers team builder. And some dude cursed me out on there. But his chin, I don't think his comments there anymore though. And in my Madden mobile, my first Madden mobile video, some dude cursed me out on there too. Because I was, because I was bad. Oh, the Eagles thing or something. The recording on the. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Dory Jackson. Oh, come on, juke out Nick Foles. <laughs> it's a Dory Jackson. He is like, he was like the most athletic, one of the most athletic dudes in the NFL, and he can't juke out Nick Foles. Jeff Gladney. I heard the Vikings wanted Damon or Nat Moore. Yeah. Well, the Raiders got him, so I couldn't care less. Oh, uh, yeah, we took him 19. Vikings wanted him at 22, so they stuck. They took Justin Jefferson. Anthony Harris was so good last season. Alright, um, I'm gonna use Danny Mendola. <laughs> Watch out for Henry Ruggs next year. I just hope he's not like Darius Hayward Bay. In what, that franchise? 
Oh yeah. He has, he's he broke the record touchdown record. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna do a Raiders franchise from the start because it's my favorite team. But then I'm also thinking of doing a Cardinals franchise. Really? And he will Ooh. score. Nice. Wait, hey, did you know Marvin Harrison was like a game banger? No. He, he literally like there was some murder like by a gas station he owned, and the the tape was just like mysteriously washed away for the exact like timing of the murder. Oh the gosh. Thing. Well, I'm going to be sleeping in a couple hours. Imagine if Peyton Manning was fast, too. Especially in KO. That would be... I know. I just saw that one 40-yard touchdown he had against the Raiders that one time. Oh, come on. Okay, you're not going to outrun anyone with Fitzgerald. Oh, what a mistake. He had uh, Reggie Wayne and, um, 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 88. Yeah, he was good, like, one year, right? Um, a number 88 was his other receiver, Harrison. I, 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 I blanked on his name. Yeah. I'm not going to use your Marvin Harrison. My talents aren't good enough for it. I'm going to use your Larry. Larry Legend. Ooh. Ooh. I am not. That's it. That's nice. Um, how many seasons are you going to make your Jaguars franchise? I think I'm only going to do one season for my Packers franchise and just hope I win the Super Bowl that one year. I'm going to do a Raiders franchise. And do, I'm probably the... And it's not going to be realistic, so... Yeah. I it's like, dude, those are your best players. <laughs> yeah. Thomas Lowe's got a receiver tighter than a bank ball. Tyler Boyd is one. It's Trey Mo here, and you're on your way. Win the third round, and you can stay. It's superstar KO. Let's run. Wow. Oh, my God. Your ball. If somebody was gonna break it, I thought it was. I felt like it was gonna be McCaffrey or something. Most likely, but I think the best overall receiver. It might also be Randy Moss. Mm, no. I think Larry's third. Larry's third. Larry Fitzgerald? Is either him or Terrell Owens, maybe Calvin Johnson? Yeah. 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 If you give it up here, it's you gotta be out there. Don't leave it up to them. It's your time. He most certainly will. 
He really. He could have made. He could have been so good for the Raiders. Odell is slightly. Over oh yeah, I have a Vikings franchise that I don't have a video of, and I got uh, Odell Beckham. But then I. Oh, I think, but it's fine. He has Randall Cunningham. He's probably going to... Okay. Ah, oh, my battery on my phone is actually dying. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. So. The Browns. Odell Beckham. He's a, he's a good receiver. He, he had one year where he didn't have 1,300 yards and 12 touchdowns, but then he's overrated all of a sudden. Odell Beckham? Yeah. Terrell Owens. Oh wow. Terrell Owens and Chad Johnson on the same team. Chad Ocho Cinco and Terrell Owens. Apparently they were drama queens back in the day. Right. Dude. Like Who did? Chad Johnson? Oh, really? I did not know that. I thought his final year was with the Bengals. Wow. Um, 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 um. I think Chad Johnson played for the Patriots and made the Super Bowl in there. I think that was the one where they lost to the Giants the second time. Yeah. There is this one dude I keep I remember one Thank you man yeah. that, that, I hate when that happens to me We have a QB spy right? Oh uh, yeah So when I'm playing with my friend I always use the D tackle and put a QB spy with a D tackle Yeah. Especially if we win. Oh, wait, what? We still playing. Okay. Tug of war. Hey, nobody does that to me. <laughs> that has to be annoying. I see them everywhere. <laughs> I mean it's the internet. Watch <laughs> out. If it was a person, I would have been like, sure, why not? Yeah. Hopkins. <laughs> You're doing this with... I still can't believe that Hopkins got traded for as little as he did, though. <laughs> exactly. I can try. <laughs> oh! Uh. Uh.
I used to use that team all the time. I'm taking the rapper. Joseph Badman is gonna leave y'all devastated yep. on the football field. Well, there's two former Seahawks here. Crazy how the Seahawks had one of the best defenses and now they're just carried by Russell Wilson. Yo man, Yo, man. sermons on receivers like funk on a bass guitar. Russell actually was those first like yeah. one championship and then he went to another, but Number 83, that Andre Reed. He's gonna stretch the field. KO. You're starting on your own 25. Put the pressure on the other team. Drive down mm. and get that score. Maybe. And no kicking. Was he even good for the 49ers? Cause I remember him. I didn't even. First and 10. 75 yards to glory. Superstar. And then they lost cause the punter turner fumbled, right? The punt return of the They sh the 49ers and Ravens, I think, should have played in the Super Bowl the year before, too. Looking at second down now. Still 10 to go. It'd be nice to pick up that new set of downs right now. Second down. They'll run it. And they'll take him down after a really nice run. Uh. I can't believe it. Three more for Deep? Okay. Yeah. He'll go to the air on third and short. Oh, I burned. Oh, he he jam he his my arm was stuck behind him. Yeah. And that was probably a touchdown too. Captain Kirk. <laughs> I watched that one video after they beat the Saints in the playoffs, and he kept saying he he said you like that. That was just greatest video I've probably ever seen. Yeah. The Vikings played 2019 like they should have in 2018. Yeah. Where's he now? Cleveland, Garrett Bradbury. Brian O'Neill is a pretty good one too, right? But understand. You only get a few opportunities with the ball in Superstar KO. Looks to throw on second down. Um, is Riley Reef still there? Going to air this one out. Intended target is Did he move to guard or no? Picked up. Forgot something? It's... Uh, I remember seeing somewhere that he would... That cheap shot by Nick Bosa on Brian O'Neill in the playoffs. I don't know why the the, the, the the Vikings didn't fight Bosa after that. I mean, would it, would it, Brian, Brian O'Neill have made a difference though? Yeah. Yeah. And then they traded DeForest Buckner and drafted Javon Kinlaw. People are acting like Javon Kinlaw is a sure thing though. People are acting like Javon Kinlaw is a... Like all these Niners fans are saying Javon Kinlaw is going to be great. But he has not even played a game yet so we don't know. They couldn't. <laughs> Goodwin didn't even do anything though. Yeah, he was injured, I believe, the whole year. So they were gonna cut him anyways. 
Why would you trade Matt Breida? Derek McKinnon is making more money. And he's not even playing for you. He's been on the team for like two or three years now. Yeah. He's fast. That's all I can think of when I think of him. All I think of is speed. Uh, McKinnon. All the Niners running back. Shifty, yeah. Uh, all the Niners running backs are fast. At least on Madden they are. Yeah. I mean, Monster, Br uh, Brita, um, um, who else? That's cool. Who else did they have a running back? Brita Coleman? Oh, she's pretty fast. I have no idea. Did I actually just put Cam Newton? Did he really? I remember people were saying he got like... The way the media was talking about him, he... If, I would only understand if they cut him if it was, like, he only got like a hundred yards or something. They should have drafted um, um, O line. I think their defensive backs might be fine. Their safeties are fine, I'd say. They could have, yeah. Taylor Rapp and uh, John Johnson are pretty good. Oh my gosh. The, the, the Rams got a middle linebacker. Um, what's his name? Yeah, he's probably going to start for them with how bad their linebacker core is right now. He's no gang last play. I'd like to see a little more. I think that's why they got Marcus Pe uh, got Jalen Ramsey, because they, 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 they traded Marcus Peters. As soon as they traded um As soon as they traded the the, 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 the corner Marcus Peters, I knew they were gonna get Jalen Ramsey. I can't believe the I mean if the team Oh, I don't even know. But the thing with the draft picks is, though, Jalen Ramsey's a sure thing. Um, the draft picks aren't. But the Rams haven't even been that bad at drafting, either. That goes to the Browns. A pick up of nine. One more would have gotten you a new set That's true. They, they, they built, they went all aggressive on getting off rookie contract, and now they're screwed. I always thought golf was overrated. They don't even have, they're stuck with golf's contract for the next, like, four years now. And Brandon Cooks. They also have the Brandon Cooks contract that they have to do too. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The keys looking to throw on four. I got it. Drops back. Um. Pass caught by Michael Thomas. Oh. Let's see. I can't. 
the fact that the one team that the Rams are probably have the darkest future in the league. If they, had, if they had won it, it would have been, yeah. Yeah. They're a wild card, though. Without Mahomes, they weren't making it past the second round. Ever, I don't think. Did they make the AFC Championship with Alex Smith? They might have one year. But I don't... They choked in the playoffs every year. One yard gain last time. Come on, now. You can do better than that. Alright. On second down, here's Newton. And that's incomplete. Incomplete on second. Try completing one this time. Far. Throwing his Newton on third. The Redskins got a good. Good. He, he was good for the Redskins though, though. That the, the, before he got hurt. Uh, Alex Smith. Yeah. Fourth down for shutdown. I remember I was happy when they traded him, but then they had Mahomes, and I I thought he, Mahomes was pretty good too. And then. I thought that Kirk Cousins was going to go to the Broncos that one year. Double lots on the board. Here again for tug of war. Get in the end zone first and stay out of your own. It's weird. He, John Elway is not good at evaluating quarterbacks. All these Broncos fans are saying Drew Locke is good, but with the John Elway's history of drafting QBs, I wouldn't count on it. He drafted Paxton Lynch, like 20, 20th overall. That set them back. Newton looks to throw. Moving to his right. He's going deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. I mean. Paxton Lynch just seemed like a bust from day one, though. From the gun, just, wow. Look at downfield for Thomas. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it is picked off. <laughs> Did you see that nasty block? Giving the ball up and <laughs> that was like a hide, I think. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know why I didn't that. Yeah, but it's better than nothing, is it? I don't... The Rams are, they were so stupid in the draft. They, they shouldn't have drafted wide receiver. They already have three solid ones. Oh, I heard that uh, Sean McVay was telling him to throw to. Yeah, before the play. <laughs> Goff's the bust as much as I hate to say. He's a play action QB, just like Kirk Cousins. Who's their uh, QB? Uh, the other team's QB? Ah, uh, because I was going to pick a play with the QB spy. But I didn't know. 
Oh, it's my homes. We should be fine. Um, all right. Uh, I saw you doing that. Uh. Uh, oh, ooh, Dion. Nah, I feel like we need to get a pass rusher. I think we should go with a pass rusher because we already have two good defensive backs. Michael Strahan still holds a single season sack record. Nice pick. Oh, he has run stuffer? Isn't he the dude who has the most sacks in a single season? Ah, uh, back when running backs won MVP. Wasn't the last one to win it like Adrian Peterson or something? With the defense shutdown has might be uh, uh, last uh, running back to win MVP. Oh, that's right. No kicking. On first down, Newton. Trying to lay one up deep. That's uh, an and you guys almost won the Super Bowl without him. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Wow. Um, um, didn't he get suspended for the whole year the very next season or something? Y'all came to win, right? Well, get six and make me a believer. And then he got injured, I think, a couple times, and they let him go. And nearly won the Super Bowl without him. I don't know if they would have drafted Cook if it wasn't for if Adrian Peterson wasn't there. They might have drafted somebody like um, um, um who was a later round back, uh, like Terry Cohen in like the fourth round or something. Or they could have waited a year, trade up to get Saquon. Yeah. Or trade up that. I don't know why you would trade a first round pick for Sam Bradford. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the backup? Wasn't it Sean Hill or something that year? Sean Hill. Oh, nice. What about that Whitehurst dude? What about that Whitehurst dude? Yeah. He was? Yeah, I remember seeing someone that he was like clipboard Jesus or something. I remember they... He was drafted in like 2010, right? Uh, Jimmy Graham. Uh, I feel like going with Brady so bad. You care if I take Brady or not? Because right. you're the QB and I want... I love how the, the Madden curse didn't even hit Brady. Or maybe the, the Madden curse, his Madden curse is joining the Bucks. But that's a good, good team right there, though. I feel like going Derwin James. He's probably the best one. I always trade for him in franchise. It just sucks. Everyone's got strengths and weaknesses. Let's see what you got. You're 25. One chance mm, to score. Yeah, J-Cat tried to tell you. I had... Oh. Uh, 
So um, the weird thing is, I had an old Madden channel, um, like six months ago, and I started a Patriots franchise, and then I never finished it. Cause, and then I just put my gaming on this video, this channel. Oh yeah. Oh, I was trying to get the dude in the front. I, w I wish we had I don't know. Well, we have number 11. It's not Edelman, though. Yeah, he does. <clears throat> Brady, Brady's the GOAT. I'm not kidding. Okay. Yeah. You don't think Mahomes can get there? Oh, you had trying on the end zone, but it's fine. No. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Derek Carr. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alex Madison. Alex Madison's probably the reason why the Vikings shouldn't sign Dalvin Cook to a long-term extension. Just that. Right. Because Alex was he a second-round pick? Wow. There are so many running backs in the third round in that draft. Uh, David Montgomery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All uh, David Montgomery. Who else was not Josh Jacobs was the best running back in that draft. Pure runner. What if you're talking? But if you're talking about like versatile, it's Miles Sanders. He was good for a couple years. I remember. I remember his first game against the Vikings. I remember his first game against the Vikings. He had like three. 80 yard runs or something like crazy like that. Yeah. Yeah. Howard? The Bears are smart with Marsh. The Bears should have. They were smart with Cohen when they had Cohen and um, um, Chubb. Because um, they weren't good. And that is incomplete. The, 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 when the, the Bears had Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen, that was a smart idea. Incomplete on second. Try completing one this time. What about the David Montgomery guy? He's severely underrated. Yeah. The, he had like a thousand yards in 2018. He had close to a thousand yards in 2018, and they traded him for like a seventh round pick. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, he's on the Dolphins now. With Brita. No, he's with Brita on the Dolphins. He sound like a two year 10 million, I think. Yeah. Dolphins, I think, can win that division. I'm not gonna lie, they. Y'all are halfway across the lawn. Go on and be heroic. <laughs> the hero score with some play. Anyone except for the Jets, because it's the Jets. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Second down. Still two yeah. to go. The they made it to the AFC pass. Championship like back to back years, right? Now they run to the left side. And the Jets, when they had Mark Sanchez. And then And then um they were the wild card both years, I'm pretty sure. Set to go. Maybe call a run. Throwing the ball is 
Uh, yeah, I see so many Jets fans on YouTube comments saying that the, the, the Jets should have won that game. Yeah, um, 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 if they had Chad Pennington during that time, they probably would have made maybe even both of those, those Super Bowls. Underrated. He was severely underrated. He won comeback player twice. And then the Jets flop big time in football. What is this dude doing? He's trying to figure that out. Oh man. We've been. It's almost been an hour since, since this second part of started recording. <laughs> Look at their levels. <laughs> Alright, my recording is probably going to stop at one hour, so I'm probably just going to reset it at, after that. And then just merge them together. Snap was balanced out there, D, with some extra help in the secondary. Looking to throw a third and long from the gun. It's the <laughs> 30. Who runs with the fullback on third and 27? <laughs> uh. Do you think Adoree Jackson is the most underrated corner in the league? He, he might be. I feel like everybody on the Titans, uh, everybody on the Titans other than Henry is underrated, I think. Oh, and AJ Brown. Them two are the only ones that are not over underrated. Everybody else, nobody ever talks about because their YouTube channel gets like 15.